Welcome to Ringside Rewind. Today we're going to name the best boxer at every height from shortest to tallest. Standing at 4 feet 10 inches, we got Baby Jacob Matlala. Matlala was the shortest boxing world champion ever and his career consists of a total 68 fights, 53 wins and 2 draws. He ended his career with 4 world championships. Standing at 5 feet tall, we got Pascual Nicolas Perez. He's an Argentinian flyweight boxer. Perez made history by becoming Argentina's first world World champion. A former Olympic gold medalist, he became the first Argentinian world champion holding the flyweight title for six years between 1954 and 1960. Standing at 5'1", we have Miguel Canto, who's a Mexican former world boxing champion who held the WBC and lineal flyweight titles with a 13-year professional career. He won the WBC flyweight title and successfully defended it 14 times, once by a TKO win. He holds the record for defending his title 13 times by going a 15 round distance. Standing at 5'3", we have Masahiko Harada. Fighting Harada is a former world boxing champion in the flyweight and bantam weight divisions. He also challenged for featherweight title twice. He's currently the president of the Japanese Boxing Association. I bet Goku would like to go a few rounds with this guy. Coming in at 5'4 and a half, we have Gary Allen Russell Jr., who's an American professional boxer who held the WBC featherweight title from 2015 to 2022. He was ranked as the world's best active featherweight by the ring magazine with a record of 32 wins and two losses this guy has an outstanding southpaw with one of the fastest hands in the sport waka waka coming in at 5-5 we got manny pacman pacquiao he's the only eight division world champion in the history of boxing he's one of the first boxers to win the lineal championship in five different weight classes and is the only boxer to hold world championships across four decades from the 90s 2000s 2010s and 2020s in july 2019 Pacquiao became the oldest welterweight champion in the world at the age of 40 and is the first boxer in history to become a recognized four-time welterweight champion after defeating Keith Thurman to win the WBA super welterweight title. Standing at 5'6 is Pernell Whitaker who's an American professional boxer who competed from 1984 to 2001. He was a four-weight world champion and currently holds the longest unified lightweight championship reign in boxing history at six title defenses. Whitaker is regarded as one of the greatest defensive boxers of all time. Standing at 5'7", we got Roberto Duran, who's a Panamanian professional boxer who competed from 1968 to 2001. He held world championships in four weight classes and is also considered the second boxer to have completed over a span of five decades, the first being Jack Johnson. Coming in at 5 feet 8 inches, we've got undefeated Floyd Money Mayweather, who as you can guess has an undefeated professional record of 50-0. He's often referred to as the best defensive boxer in history, as well as being the most accurate puncher since the existence of CompuBox, having the highest plus-minus ratio in recorded boxing history. He's got quite the matchups as well, taking on notable opponents such as Canelo Alvarez and many Pac-Man Pacquiao. One of the best 5'9 boxers is Sugar Ray Leonard, who's one of the all-time greats. His career lasted from 1977 to 1997 as a welterweight fighter. His record consisted of 36 wins, 25 by knockout, three losses, and one draw. Get your pigeons ready because standing at 5 feet 10 inches is Mike Tyson, who's a pro boxer that competed from 1985 to 2005, but also dabbled in boxing again in the last few years. Iron Mike Tyson is also known as the baddest man on the planet and is considered to be one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time, regardless of height. He's an undisputed world heavyweight champion from 1987 to 1990. Tyson won his first 19 professional fights by knockout, 12 of them in the first round. Mike Tyson holds the record as the youngest boxer to ever win a heavyweight title. He did this at the age of 20 years old, knocking out Trevor within just 5 minutes and 33 seconds of fighting, and he was 33. At 5'11", we got Sugar Ray Robinson, who's an American professional boxer that competed from 1940 to 1965. He was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1990. He's often regarded as the greatest boxer of all time, pound for pound. From 1943 to 1951, Robinson went on a 91 fight unbeaten streak that's 91 straight wins the third longest in professional boxing history 
Standing at six feet tall, we got Joe Frazier, nicknamed Smokin' Joe. He's an American pro boxer who competed from 1965 to 1981. He was the first boxer to defeat Muhammad Ali. Joe reigned as the undisputed heavyweight champion from 1970 to 1973, and as an amateur, he won a gold medal at the 1964 Summer Olympics. Standing at 6'1 is Thomas Hearns, who's a pro boxer that competed from 1977 to 2006. Thomas the Hitman Hearns has height and a long reach, which allows him to move over 50 pounds throughout his career and became the first boxer in history to win world titles in five weight divisions. That's welterweight, light middleweight, middleweight, super middleweight, and light heavyweight. Coming in at six feet two inches is Joseph Lewis. Joe Lewis competed from 1934 to 1951. Nicknamed the Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis is one of the greatest and most influential boxers of all time. He reigned as the world heavyweight champion from 1937 until his temporary retirement in 1949. He he won 25 consecutive title defenses, a record for all weight classes, and had the longest single reign as champion of any boxer in history. Speaking of all-time greats, how about the GOAT himself, Muhammad Ali, standing at 6 feet 3 inches, also known as the greatest, and is regarded as one of the most significant sports figures of all time. After winning his first 19 fights, including 15 knockouts, Muhammad Ali won his first title on February 25th, 1964 against the heavyweight champion, Sonny Liston. During his career, he had a record of 56 wins, including 37 knockouts and 5 losses. Get out your grills and start leaning your meat, because at 6 for we got George Foreman, who's an American heavyweight boxer also known as Big George. He competed between 1967 and 1997, becoming a two-time world heavyweight champion and an Olympic gold medalist. He defended the belt twice before suffering his first professional loss to Muhammad Ali in the iconic Rumble in the Jungle of 1974. On November 5th, 1994, George Foreman at the age of 45 became boxing's oldest heavyweight champion when he defeated the 26-year-old Michael Moore in the 10th round of their WBA fight in Las Vegas. Standing at 6 feet 5 inches, we got Lennox Lewis who's currently a pro boxing commentator and competed from 1989 to 2003. He's a three-time world heavyweight champion, a two-time lineal champion, and the last heavyweight to hold the undisputed championship. He's got notable victories against Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield. Standing at 6'6", it's not Michael Jordan, but Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua is a British professional boxer and a two-time former unified world heavyweight champion. Anthony Joshua won his first 22 pro fights and was a heavyweight champion of the world between 2016 and 2019 until a shocking loss to Andy Ruiz Jr. Anthony Joshua is considered one of the greatest active heavyweight boxers with a record of 24 and 2 with a total of 22 KOs. Coming in at 6 feet 7 inches, we got Deontay Wilder, who's an American pro boxer that held the WBC heavyweight title from 2015 to 2020 for 10 successful title defenses. Deontay Wilder became the first American world heavyweight champion since 2007. In his amateur career, he won a bronze medal in the heavyweight division at the 08 Olympics, which led him to being known as the Bronze Bomber. Wilder is known for his knockout power, with 20 knockouts knockouts in the first round so far. Coming in at 6'9 is Tyson Fury. He's also around 265 pounds and is also a British professional boxer and a two-time world heavyweight champion since defeating Deontay Wilder in 2020. Tyson Fury is currently undefeated with 33 wins and one draw. Fury took on Deontay Wilder in a three-fight trilogy with the first bout resulting in a controversial draw, later rematching Wilder in February of 2020 and defeated Wilder by technical knockout in the seventh round after a dominant performance. He later knocked out Wilder again in the trilogy fight of October 2021 in the 11th round. Standing at seven feet tall, we've got Nikolai Valuev. He's a Russian former pro boxer that competed professionally from 1993 to 2009 and held the WBA heavyweight title twice between 2005 and 2009. Standing at this height and having a peak weight of 328 pounds, Nikolai is best known for being the tallest and heaviest world champion in boxing history. This guy was an absolute unit. Standing at 7-1, we got Julius Long. He's a New Zealander professional boxer with a 90-inch reach. He's also a heavyweight division fighter with the nickname of Towering Inferno. As you can see, he's quite tall and his punches are like fireballs. 
Standing at 7-2, we've got Tom Payne. Fun fact about Tom Payne, he also played in the NBA during the 1971 season with the Atlanta Hawks. He was gifted at many sports, one of them being boxing. You've seen him now on Ringside Rewind, maybe you'll learn more about him on the Rebound Rewind channel in the near future. And at 7 foot 4 inches, the Goliath of Romania, we've got Gogia Mitu, who's a Romanian professional boxer, listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the tallest professional boxer. Mitu won his first match by knockout in the first round. His second fight was against a former Romanian heavyweight champion, also winning by knockout in the first round round, which ended up being his second last fight. So here's the best pro boxer at every height from shortest to tallest. Let me know what you think of this list and what you want to see in the future. Don't forget to knock out that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. This has been Ringside Rewind and we'll fast forward to you later.